In this video, I'm going to go over the aerodynamic center function and how it works and, and how useful it can be. So if you go ahead and select it from the analysis uh, menu over here, you can click update results. It'll run real quick. It'll give you the X and Y position, sorry, the X and Z location, remembering that X is out the nose, Z is down, so it's in that plane of symmetry for the airplane. Um, and the moment, the pitching moment about the aerodynamic center. So the aerodynamic center is actually something, I'm gonna change this, is actually something that is often difficult to estimate, but mock-up does it really quick and really easily, really easily. It allows you to understand the stability of the aircraft in a very visual way, which is um, super, super helpful. So I'm going to change some of the uh, opacity here so we can see the airplane, and we're going to run this again. You can see that sphere here in the back, this purple one, represents the aerodynamic center. We know that as long as the aerodynamic center is behind the center of gravity, we are stable. So if I go ahead and run derivatives, you'll notice that we are stable. Static margin is at 41% and it's positive. Now if I take this and slide it behind and update results, you notice that it went negative, meaning we are unstable. So as long as you know, our center of gravity is forward of the aerodynamic center, we know that we'll be, st we'll be stable. Now, estimating the aerodynamic center with the straight wing is actually pretty easy because we always know it's pretty close to the quarter cord of that wing. However, it's a lot harder to estimate the aerodynamic center when there's lots of sweep. So I'm gonna put a ton of sweep in this wing real quick so that we can look at how the aerodynamic shifts aerodynamic center shifts and how easy it is to uh, understand the stability of the airplane. So I'm going to run that. So our aerodynamic center shifted way behind the quarter cord of the root of our wing and we can see that obviously we, we're, we're still in the stable region. If we were to take that center of gravity we could push it now all the way back to here and be stable. If it obviously went behind here we would be unstable. So that's the aerodynamic uh, center and how that function works. You can always, if you want, you can save those results to a file. It prompts you to save. You can look at it, and all it is is a simple .json file that gives you the X and the Z location and also the pitching moment about the aerodynamic center. So that's, that's pretty straightforward and simple. So there you have it, there's the aerodynamic center. Really helpful in trying to understand the stability of your aircraft because you can just look at the relative locations of the aerodynamic center and center of gravity.